I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Sunday, May 16th, the seventh Sunday of Easter, the scripture is found in John, the 17th chapter, verses 6 through 19. I have manifested thy name to the men who thou givest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now they knew that everything that thou hast given me is from thee. And I have given them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and know in truth that I have come from thee. And they have to believe that thou didst send me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom thou hast given me, for they are thine. All mine are thine, thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to thee, Holy Father. Keep them in thy name, which thou hast given me, that thou may be one, even as we were one. While I was with them, I gave them in thy name, which thou hast given me, I have guarded them. And none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am com coming to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and I, the world has hated them, because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world. I do not pray that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth, thy word is truth. And as thou dost send me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake I consecrate myself, that they also may be consecrated in truth. Word of the Lord. Today we encounter Jesus' prayer for his disciples, which proclaims that they, God, and Jesus himself are inseparable. This is a powerful truth. Yet when I read this prayer, I feel as if I'm setting off on a merry-go-round. The words begin their journey, swirl around in my brain, and show up again, repeating much of what was already said. Jesus' prayer seems to reflect an old maxim for preachers. Tell, tell your listeners what you're going to tell them, tell them, then tell them what you told them. But there is a phrase, so that, that tells us we're changing position while we swirl around, just as a spiral does. Jesus asked God to protect his disciples so that they may be one as we are one and so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. He's telling us that we, the spiral, spirals pastors, move around and upward, growing in unity and joy with God and each other. These are indeed powerful truths. Our prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making us one with you and the everlasting God. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.